All right, just another way we've done this, and this is the odd adjustment I was talking about, okay? We're in three by one detached over here to the field. All right, the tackle's got a four or four eye, so he's going to arc out into the alley. All right, we tell him, you're pushing out to the first second level defender outside of the box, okay? If he's accounted for, all right, by the number three receiver, then you stay out in the alley, all right? And you can overlap and take what's left. Still reading the end man on the line, all right? And, and this is one of those times where we could go short, all right, on the backside linebacker, all right, at times, okay? All right, depending on what the scheme is. We're willing to, to, to risk that, okay, or the play side linebacker even, all right? We're willing to risk that because we're trying to get the ball on the perimeter, and we're saying we're going to out-leverage this guy, all right, a lot more times than we will not. So right here, the quarterback knows that we're, we're counting this guy as the end man on the line. Right here, all right. Tackle's going to arc. He's working out here to this mic, this bossed out there, to this single high safety right here, all right. They got the backside safety down in the box. And that's why this receiver is trying to go hat him on the backside. That's his guy. He's got the first safety inside. Great job by the tackle, all right? We arc, we get it pinned by the tight end. He overlaps, takes the safety in the alley there. Number two receiver, still blocking overhang. We got two overhangs when we're displaced sometimes. So we're really in a three for three mindset there. Should be in a back call up front, all right? Center's got to work back to the four eye. Good job by the by the right tackle, gap seal hinge. We're down blocking with the left guard. Tight pull by the right guard. Got to get to his backside number. 